All right, Jerry, uh, welcome back to Loyola. And this is, uh, I know, a special night for you and your former teammates. Uh, just try to describe uh, what, what this feeling is like to, to come back here tonight. I tell you, this is a, this is a, a great, great feeling. Um, and the main reason why is because it's Mississippi State. Uh, when I grew up, uh, after winning the national championship, uh, Loyola and we were known for that championship. And then every year there's a new champion, mm -hmm. which is fine. I mean, to, make, to get to that feat is still outstanding. Mm -hmm. But as you get older, you start thinking and reminiscing. And then I realize that the greatest game I ever played in was Mississippi State against Loyola, mm -hmm. even though the championship was against Cincinnati. Right. When you look at a game like that, you have had an effect that will last forever. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're playing a, a game like that, it's it's history, mm -hmm. a lot of history. And, and every year you have a new NCAA champion, mm -hmm. but it's not every year that you make history mm -hmm. in playing against a white team mm -hmm. that uh, had never played against black ball players. Mm -hmm. And to see that that particular game kind of changed the face mm -hmm. of college basketball. Mm -hmm. And a couple of years later, Vanderbilt came in. Then the, after a while, Alabama fell right in. Within five, six years, uh -huh. uh, the whole college uh, basketball world was in a group. Mm -hmm. And uh, you had, you started it. So mm -hmm. that's by far is the greatest feeling mm -hmm. of accomplishment in my life. Mm -hmm. and of course, uh, so many of the, the hardships that, uh, that we talked about the other, the other day that you went through during that time period, uh, and yet to, to have the result, uh, you know, looking back nearly 50 years ago, to see the result of, of it today and made, made it all worthwhile, I'm sure. Oh, it really is. I really did. I I look at the Mississippi State team, and it's, it's kind of nice that we can come back and meet with them mm -hmm. because a lot of pressure was on them yeah. to sneak out, and they took that step. Mm -hmm. And the president of the university uh, decided, even though he might lose his job, mm -hmm. um, he, he told his wife, and the wife said, I'm with you. We'll just have to leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the coach, Babe McCarthy, says, hey, we are tired of winning the, the Southern Championship, the conference, and, and being over. Mm -hmm. and being, how, what does that prove? Mm -hmm. Does that prove that we are the best mm -hmm. in the nation? Mm -hmm. No. So he, he, they all work together to play in that game, and my hat's off to him. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, to have this story recounted and, 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 and told to the younger generation who perhaps were not aware of this, that, that's, a, that's a bonus too, isn't it? Absolutely, and the, to be named, and I just found out last night from the athletic director, Grace, that this was um, listed as the number one event in college sports uh, for the effect that it had, not only, uh, of course, playing against Mississippi State, but the final game being overtime, we come back by 15 points to win the, the ball game. So, and what we went through that entire year, because we had problems in Houston where they threw money on us. Yeah. <laughs> we had problems uh, with segregation in New Orleans, mm -hmm. and we confronted it straight on and brought it out. So, um, and another thing that really gets me is that we were never recognized for what we had accomplished in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And this is really coming out now. When you got nine guys, predominantly black guys, mm -hmm. bring in 21 degrees, mm -hmm. that's something. Matter of fact, me and Les always joke about we, we held them down. We only got our undergrad. Uh -huh. All of us graduated. Right. We got our undergrad. But a guy like Vic Rouse, mm -hmm who was have party and enjoyed himself but was so smart mm -hmm. and focused. Mm -hmm. He was more focused. He was like a 30-year-old. Mm -hmm. We're 
19 and 18, yeah. uh-huh. but to get a doctorate, mm-hmm. three masters, mm-hmm. and his undergraduate. Right. And sometimes that story is not told enough. Mm-hmm. When it's the opposite story, yeah, we, we hear, hear about that. It. Sure. But um, we were level-headed, and uh, I, it's kind of ironic that we were picked to play that part at mm-hmm. that time in life. Mm-hmm. So I've gotten a little spiritual mm-hmm. later in life and so on. And I, I truly believe that God did this, mm-hmm. that he put it this way. Mm-hmm. If you look at the way things, and I could talk to you like <laughs> going, that the way things happen, it's amazing. Uh-huh. Les Hunter is 6'4", he's a good ball player, not great. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, and then Ireland takes him anyway because he wanted routes mm-hmm. and they decided to come as a package. Hunter grows four inches over the summer. Oh, he comes in here at 6'4", he comes in at 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, uh-huh. And then, I mean, I, I had a scholarship to Texas Southern. I'm on my way there. Mm-hmm. The dorm burns down. So then they got me at Loyola. I mean, you look at it all the way around. Mm-hmm. Ronnie Miller's a center. Nobody wants him, even though he's a great ball player. Mm-hmm. He's 6'2". Mm-hmm. He's a center. Wow. He comes here and worked and dribbled and made himself mm-hmm. a guard. Mm-hmm. And nobody expected the guy to do that. He made him. 